So we're back with the India special. So far I've talked about the things that you need to do before you can travel to India. Getting a visa and the vaccinations you might consider getting. Then I went over how to find the best flights to India using Google Flights. Then I went over the different options for accommodations once you get to India. Couch surfing hostels and Airbnb. In this video, or the next series of videos, I'll be talking about all the stuff that you can do once you get there. Specifically, I'll be talking about Goa. And so far, it looks pretty great. First, Dude Cigar Falls, which is a large waterfall that's nearly 1,000 feet high and 300 feet wide. It's two hours east of Pajim by train. To get there, you'll have to take the train and hop off at the Dude Cigar stop which isn't a train platform. You'll literally have to hop off the train during the one or two minute stop. Then wait for the train to come back when you want to leave. Chapora Beach and Fort is about 20 kilometers north of Pajim. Built in the 1500s by the Portuguese, like a lot of the forts in Goa, this place has some great views, a lovely beach, and is an overall good time. Aguada Fort is 15 kilometers from Pajim and it's another example of Portuguese architecture in the area. It offers some lovely views of the surrounding area and has some pretty great beaches you can check out while you're there. The thing with Goa is it's well known for its lovely beaches, like Kola Beach. I just really like the name and I do love the subtle marketing with the beach umbrellas. Very subtle. Lastly, you've got the Shikari Spice Farm, an hour outside of Pajim. You can climb some trees, find some spices, walk up some steps, play with this spider, or not. Or play with these bugs. No. Or play with some elephants. Now, about elephants. Before you visit an elephant park or an elephant sanctuary or any places like that that have animals like that, you need to do research and make sure that they treat their animals well. That they don't abuse them or they don't torture them or anything like that. And I'm not even talking about India specifically. There's places like this all over the world and while the vast majority of them do treat their animals well, a lot of them don't. So it's just, it's something that you need to keep in mind. I'm fairly positive that the example that I gave treats their animals quite well, but I didn't do too much research. So if anyone can prove me wrong on that, I please do. But it's just something to keep in mind. I know the Indian government tried to ban elephant rides in Goa recently, unsuccessfully, but yeah. And I'm not trying to end this video on a downer or anything like that. It's just, it's something that needs to be brought up because I've never run into anything like this before in any of my videos. So I, I really didn't know what to do. But yeah, um, I, I hope that helps you give some ideas of stuff that you can do in Goa. In the next couple of videos, we'll be talking about stuff to do in Mumbai, Calcutta, Jaipur. But if there's any places in India that you want me to go over, let me know and I'll be sure to fill it in. Thanks.